All right, I think we're good. We're good. Yep. Yes. <clears throat> good morning. With the help of Hashem, we are learning today's three Prakim Rambam, beginning with Hilcha Saita, Prakim Aleph, Beis Gimel. Interestingly, even though that we are all familiar with the spelling of the word, word Saita, Samach Vav Tesei, in various old manuscripts of the Rambam, the Rambam wrote Saita with a sin. Actually, that's based on the way the Torah addresses the topic of the Saita by beginning Ish Ish Kisishta Ishtoi, also writing it with a sin. And as Chazal say, that a person only sins, El Cain, only if a Ruach Shtus. Shin, sin, enters the person. Okay, so let's begin. Hilcha Soita, first the intro says that Rambam yesh pechlolon shalosh mitzvahs, achas mitzvah sasei, ushte mitzvah sloisa sevezeu pratan. Number one, lasois, la soita, to treat the soita. Ketoidas hakenois hasudur abatoira, right? According to the laws governing, right, all of these. Um, Kinoi, kinoi, just the word kinoi or kinoi means a jealousy admonition or a warning which is coming from a place of jealousy, as we'll explain. So to follow through with those halachas. Number two, that if it comes to a point that a carbon must be brought by her, a flower offering, so there's two unique details, not about what she does to it, but what she dafka does not do or that, what the kehanim do not do to that carbon, Number one is base shaloyliten shaman al karbana that oil is not placed on this carbon on this flower offering, and number two shaloyliten all of levaina that frankincense that levaina is not placed on the offering. Ubir mitzvahs elu will be petrakam elu beginning with pedek edition. Pedek aleph as always will go through the basic rules of a soita. We're going to become familiar with the word kinoi like we just mentioned. Kinoi means a jealousy warning, stira, a seclusion that this woman will have, potentially potentially will have, as we'll see. Tuma, the word Tuma is going to refer to her actually committing adultery. May Hamadim, the bitter waters, and other basic topics connected to a site. The first chapter has 20 halachas, beginning with halacha al. Says the Rambam, Kinui ha'amur batayna. When the Torah is using the word Kinui, so let me just go by heart. Generally, this is a parsha in Nasai, a man is seeing that his wife is alone with a specific individual. If the man warns his wife in front of witnesses, I am warning you, that warning is called a kinoi. Don't be alone secluded with that specific individual. And after that warning, indeed, she is still found secluded with him. No one knows what they did, but they're going to be, as we'll see, witnesses that way they were secluded together. And from that moment, she becomes a soita, as we'll see. So, kino, I'm about to read where it says, Vikine Yesishtoi, that this man is forewarning his wife, who she yoyim only if he tells her this warning in front of witnesses, al tistari, imploini, don't have yichud or don't enter in private with that individual. And that warning is valid, even if the warning is regarding her father, in which, Bechlalda ar isuri yichud. There's no Isr Yichud between a woman and her father or brother, or even if the Kinoi different is about a Goy or an Eved or a person that's Shachov, person who's impotent. Shachov means who are a person who's unable to have an erection, and the Enamoilid. Doesn't matter. Kinoi means warning her, but not between him and her. That is called a warning, but that's not the Halachi Kinoi. It's warning her. Dafke in front of two witnesses regarding any specific individual, halachatu, and hastira, the word stira, which is entering into privacy, being alone, where it says, v'nistira, end of quote, he, shetisosir aboyseho ish, that she following after the kinoi did violate the warning, and she was alone in seclusion with that man. Sh'amullah al-tistri imoi, and this also is an act that must be witnessed. Let's begin with two witnesses. So kinoi in front of two witnesses for it to be a halachi kinoi and stira in front of two witnesses. Now, how long must she be alone secluded 
for her now to be rendered a saita. Im shohase ima kadei tuma. If she remains secluded with that individual enough times, kadei tuma means that in that time they could have had a physical relation. And how much time is that? That Amam doesn't speak minutes. But quoting Chazal, shuhu kadei litzlois beya ulagama. The time that it takes to roast an egg. We always we we speak about the average chicken egg, and to eat it and to swallow it, right? In a halacha, you actually you have a very um, broad, is it four minutes? Maybe it goes up to nine minutes. Then from that moment on, this woman is not allowed to be with her husband until she follows through, if she'll follow through the drinking of the bitter waters that we'll learn in a moment. And that will check, that will... Clarify, as we'll see, if she survives the ordeal properly, that means that she th- she did not have a physical relation with that man, even though it was not correct for he for her to be secluded with him, even without the kinui. In some most of the cases where there's an isra in all of the cases she shouldn't have done it because of the kinui. Nevertheless, she'll, as we'll see, she'll get blessed if she did not commit adultery, or in the reverse, if there was an act of adultery. In most circumstances, not in all circumstances. She would undergo, and the man with whom she committed adultery would undergo a horrible type of death. When we live in a time that we don't have access to these waters, whether we don't have it physically, because we don't have a temple, or as we'll see soon, sometimes towards the end of this man habayis, the Chachanim said not to do this procedure, as we'll explain today when we get there. If you don't have the may soita, then she would never be allowed to be with her husband, number one, which means he has to divorce her. And number two, since it was her bad behavior that brought her to that moment, she would get divorced without receiving her suit. Okay, halachigim. Kinola im shnayim ke'echot. If the husband gives the kinui warning, the jealousy warning regarding two men, but he specifies both men. By telling her, altistri imploini uploini, not don't be secluded alone with them. That's not good. But don't be secluded with Ruven and not with Shimon. And Venistra im ki echad, and she was with both of them together because the warning was together with this one and with that one. And she was with both of them. And again, the time period, let's say it's six minutes. Even if these are two of her brothers, if it even if it was a father and a brother, here also. Here the chiddush is that normally the rule is there is no isur yichud when it comes to two men. And like we mentioned, really there's no isur yichud even with only father, even with only brother. So don't correlate it with isur yichud. This is about the warning and her violating the specific warning. Halacha four. But if when he warns his wife, he doesn't speak about stira. He's not focusing on don't be secluded alone. But he says, don't speak. Al-Tadabri employee. That has nothing to do with these halachas. Ain't zekinoi. And more. Afapi, that after don't speak to him, she was secluded with him in front of witnesses for that amount of time. And the enosh reis of No, it's the warning must be al Don't be alone with. Halacha fine. If the warning was correct. But what was witnessed by Adam was speaking to him. And again, she doesn't become a soita, and therefore, if there was never a prior warning, kinoi warning prior to the stira, only I saw so and so's wife, that woman alone, secluded with a man, and they were there. Also, Nesra al Baila. They violated Isur Yichud if it was with a non close family member, but the Eina Shois. Halachavav. Amalo, if a man tells his wife, Altistani and Ploini. But that Ploini was a minor, minor meaning, according to the Rambam, not under Bar Mitzvah, but under nine years and one day. And as we learned, that She'ein Biyasai Biyo, Oisha Amala, or if the warning was Altistani in Behemazu. Because when it says in the in the pasuk in Nasi, the shachav ish oisa, so the word ish comes to exclude a cotton. Now, according to the Ravid and others, it comes to exclude anyone that's halachically not the bar mitzvah. 
The Rambam understands this ish to seclude someone, to exclude someone. It's she'en biyasei biya, which means less than nine. And it excludes this whole title, this whole parsha regarding a warning with a behema. She'enon oislin oisin. Allah chazayin. Baal shemachal al kinoi. Now, this is already something that's not written to explicitly in the Chumash. Many people, right, don't know this. That after the kinoi, the husband has the ability to be Michael the warning. I forgo it. If he was Michael that prior to her having secluded herself in violation of, that mechila is valid, and it's ki'ilu like Allah, as we just learned, Right in halacha, hey, and therefore, even though there was a kinoi, but now there was a mechila, then she had stated with him, she's not a sight. Avol acheshet isasa, but once he gave a warning, and then she had stated, now we can be moichel. Any yachal limchel. It doesn't mean she will always have to drink the waters, as we'll see in the subsequent chapters. It's not. It's not necessarily the case. A woman can opt out, the husband can opt out, but there'll be a lot of consequences simply by the fact that she became a soita, as we'll see. Another day, if a man made kinui to his wife about that specific individual, and then prior to stira, he divorced her. The act of gerushin is like an act of mechima, and therefore, v'im hachazira, if he remarries her, he must forewarn her again, and if he doesn't, even if she has theater with that guy, again, she's not going to become a soit. Halacha ches. Kino labif neishnaim. And vera'a oisa. He saw. Shenistara im zeshe kino la. All of, for the amount of time. Vishu hasakate tumam. Even though there's no a day stira. Hare zu asura alav. Paskins the Rambam. Clearly a day stira are only a day birur. And therefore, he's. He knows that she's a soita. He may not be with her. He has to divorce her. He has to give her the ksuba, right? He has to give her the ksuba because he doesn't know whether she committed adultery. He only knows she had stira. I, hold on, let her drink the waters. No, you can't. We're not going to erase God's name. We're not going to give her the procedure as we'll learn in the third chapter today. That can't be done because the, we don't know that. But the husband knows because he saw her alone secluded, so he must divorce her. She becomes a surah Allah. Similarly, that if the husband hears that everyone is after he gave the warning, he hears everyone is speaking about how she is still secluding herself with that guy. From whom, who's everyone? We actually learned that one of them, Masa Yodeha, that a woman has to provide for her husband is spinning. That was a common work that women did. And many women, can I know how to, they're busy with the family, they're busy with the home. They only have time to work at night. At night, many was common that people, you know, people don't want to be alone or it's dangerous to be alone. Women would gather together to do their work. And that's where, you know, they would share the news of the town. So if those women are noisois the nois bar conversing about this woman, this wife. That what? What are they saying about her? Shezimsa imho ishikino lo alav that they're actually committing adultery. So here the din is that he's a aser le lekaimai and veyotze veyitink suvam gavaldik. Okay. In other words, if there would be a dim of stira, no, then then she would undergo the procedure. Here we're speaking about the fact that uh, there's no a day stira. Since so many people are saying she's committing adultery, he must pay her, but he must divorce her, but he must give her the ksuba. Or it's, you cannot, she doesn't lose her ksuba because people are gossiping about her, but it's us for them to be together. What happens? There was Rabbi, a day. Yes. Rabbi, just a quick question. Let's say he didn't warn her about it, but there were still these rumors that the, the women were talking about that she was Mizana. Is that also enough to make them have to uh, split? Or you Sometimes. So that, so that, so then that's other dinam. There's dinam about rumors. There are dinam about it, but the Ramam is not speaking about it over here. Dafka here, since he gave her kinoi, that's the case over here. Now the rumors, divorce. Not rumors. The women that are spinning are talking about it. You have to know what rumors are. This is this is called the common knowledge. One witness comes and tells the husband. 
One, shenis to the ima yachar kinoi. And again, it's this is key. It's not just that they had a uh, stira, that it was for that minimum amount of time. The shorasuka they tumam. So now says that Rambam, just like we said, that if the husband sees her with his own eyes, even though it's not the araya and Bezdin, they're not going to make her drink the meisoyta, but he's high to divorce her and give her the ksuba. So it's similar. If the husband believes that aid, and vedato yisri mechas olav, so then here also, he's not allowed to be with his wife, asura olav. He has to divorce her, therefore, but he has to give her the ksuba. On the other hand, the husband says, if I don't fully believe him, the imlav hare ishtoy muteras loy. Now, the Ramam is introducing there are times that Beisdin will give her this jealousy warning. Number one, the husband became deaf mute. Or he was, the husband became completely uh, shaita. Or the husband is not here. Or the husband is, is in jail, which means he's not here. Now, says the Rambam, that in all of these cases, it's not that after Beisdin gives her the kinuy, if she'll have stira, she'll drink the waters. No, that kinuy is not powerful enough to bring her to the point of having to drink the mei hamarim or the mei soita. But what it will do is, is that if she'll have stira after the kinuy, as we'll speak out, she will lose her ksuba keitsa. Halacha yudal. Shomu Beisdin, that shohamaran and anachrel, in the cases of yud, oh, words, if the husband is there, then it's upon him to give her kinoi, but he's not here. They call her. Now, then Beisdin Oisrin Oisa Al Bailu And not only that, the Beisdin will rip up her ksuba, and when the husband will return, or if and when he gets healthy, or will leave the jail, he must give her a get. But the Eniyachalash Kaisa, the Pneisha Lekinola. Why does she lose Aksuba? Because, you know, she shouldn't have had Stira after the warning. Halacha yud beis. Another din. Shosos mehamarin. In a case where a woman came to the point, the husband gave kinoi, there were two Adim, there were two Adim Stira, she drank the waters, and the Niksamahen. And the waters proved that she did not commit adultery. What happens? What happens if afterwards she's still secluding herself with that same man and the husband again gave her kinoi and again she had stira? But it doesn't mean that that's it. With that man, she's scot free. No. If he makes her again kinoi stira for the same individual and she, they're a they stira, there's no solution to that other than getting divorced and she loses her ksuba. That's only because he gave her kinoi instead of twice for the same guy. It's called two strikes and you're out. Avlam kinolam acher, but the husband, after giving her warning, don't be alone with Reuven. And she was alone with Reuven. We don't know what happened. And she drank the mehamarim and she lived. Now, I don't, don't be with Shimon. Then she will become a soiter from the same husband because it was about another man. As long as it's always about someone else. That's called a real dysfunctional marriage over here. What's a gate? Now, in the case where, again, there was a kinoi, there was a stira, she drank the water, she survived, I mean, she didn't commit adultery, and now he divorces her. And, and now she marries another man. So the, the warning of the first husband was don't be secluded with Reuven. She drank the waters. Now she married she, Now she married another person. The other person also sees, the new husband also sees her, she drinks it with that guy with Reuven. And he warns her, the other husband warns her about the same man. And just did it with Adam. Now, yes, she will drink twice about the same man because it was from another husband. The kinoi was from another husband. And says that Amman, that goes even to a hundred times. She married a hundred different men. It's how funny. Everyone, kinoi stira, then they end up divorcing her. And she's still stuck with that guy. She's not going to marry him, but she's with that guy. We don't say, come on. No. Actually, if there's no, at least, witness that they committed adultery, um, then she becomes a soita. 
which means that something that's resolvable by drinking the Meha Marim. Resolvable, not that she's behaving properly. No, that's not good behavior, but that she did not commit adultery. A woman got kinoi and benistra achar kinoi ba'edim, as we mentioned, and she's about to drink the waters. Now, what comes and comes even only one witness and testifies that he actually saw the act of, of Bia. He saw that man with whom she secluded herself, rendering her a soita, he saw the act of Abia. Now, she's not allowed to be with her husband, and the Eimashoisa, she does not drink. In other words, guys, remember the rule. The drinking of the Meyasoita is to resolve a suffix. What's the suffix? Not about good behavior. Suffix, did they, did they have, uh, did they commit adultery? That's the doubt. If you know, even through one aid, the trader believes one aid over here, then we know it. And therefore, like any other woman that we know committed adultery, he's obligated to divorce her and she loses her ksuba. And Vafilo Hoya Eid Tumazev, one of the Eid Estira, Oichet believed. Shinamar as it says, the Eid Ein Ba. That's when she drinks, which implies that if there is even one Eid, now guys, I know the rule is that Ein Dover Shabbat Erba, Pachus Mishnayim. This will be an exception. This will be an exception because she's not coming here innocently. She's already a site. This one aid doesn't even have to be one. That's a kosher witness for most areas in the Torah. It can be even a woman. It can be an evet. It can be a shifcha. It can be someone who's otherwise prasula edus ba'aveda, but the Ramam says not, not biblically, but medivere soifim. It can even be a relative. All of these above people, even only one, neman le'edus soita l'hoida le'osha zimsa, through which in other words, the Torah gives the manus to one aid that when raglayim ladovin. And here there's like raglayim ladovin. Therefore, how they call them Now we're gonna have a big chiddush in guys. We're, we're towards the end of halacha tezvav. Now we learned. In the previous series, in the Chazishos, in the Gerushin, even by Yibum, that there are five women that halachically are considered women that have animosity towards one the other. And even in other areas where one aid is believed, those five women are not believed to testify one for the other. Like, for example, mother-in-law and daughter-in-law. Here, even they are partially believed, not fully believed. Af Chamesh Hanashim, that are halachically considered to be women, Shesoy Nois Zuazu, are allowed to be me'idai zu al zu after kinoi, after stida, with two edim. Now one of these women come and say, I saw the act itself. They are believed, but not fully. Which means they can't be together. She's no longer going to drink the waters, but you know what? But she's not going to lose her ksuba. Because again, there isn't a full-fledged namanus. As I, in between namanus. Ella may tell us, ksubasa, she'll get a ksuba. And v'yoytza, just like if the man sees them committing adultery, that Amam says, if he's or not adultery, I'm sorry, if the man sees uh, her having stira, then again, he cannot be with her. He, but he has to give her a tzuba because for that you have to have to wait. Halacha tazai. Bo eid echad kashir bo amen nitmeis. Right? The Amam is just giving an intro by repeating what we just learned. So that ain't a shoysa, kamay shubiyan. And she loses a tzuba. But after the one eight said that, and the based in Paskins, okay, that's it. The trader says, We believe you. Another eight comes and contradicts this one eight by saying that no line it makes. No, specifically, you, you saw them together it's Monday, 4 p.m. No, 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 Monday, 4 p.m., not the eight. The woman was with me, contradicting, contradicting the content of the testimony. We don't believe the second one that comes. Why? Because since aid echad betumas soita is believed like shnayim, who is contradicting the aid? Only one. It's one against two. The aid varav shalachim doichem divri arishin who kish shnayim. Pamed varam amurim guys, because the first one came by himself, based in already paskin, based on the one eight. That's why we consider him halachically too. But if these two contradictory aidim came lachatchila together, halachah yudzayin bosh name ki echad. One says let me. One says, Lainit Meis, or Oisha Amar Echad Net Meis, and even later, two, okay, two and two now, two come and they say, Lainit Meis, 
So the Rambam is saying whenever it's equal, whenever it's equal, halezu shoisa. Equal means you go back to square one. Let's say these words, they cancel each other out. Remember, you'd say now for your ches. Now, bo eid echad kashen. And again, the trader gives namanas to one echad kashen. The trader really gives namanas to a woman. So, but we're saying it's not the same. One eid echad kashen comes and says, that, uh, let's say, nitmes. The nashim rabbi said, sulam rabbim ke echad. And other people that are otherwise not believed come together. And the one, if the one eight says, like we just mentioned, yeah, I saw the act of adultery. And the many women or the many psalms say, so we don't say, ah, it's, it's many against one. No, the one is like shnayim. They still are equal. Because she'eid echad on one side and on the other side, psalm and abim, become equal because the trader gives the monos to one like to many. And again, we just said on Allah Yud Zayin that if it's equal power, they cancel each other out and she goes back to square one that she's a soita. Right, uh, Rabbi, I'm confused. The one that says that, that, that she did it, he's saying that he saw the act or that she was just uh, secluded? The act. It has to be the act. Of course the act. We're speaking all about it was a day kinoi. There was a day plural stita. Now one eight has the monos for tuma. That's the case. So one aid. In that case, I thought she. I thought she doesn't drink because it's just confirmed that, that that the act was done, and therefore. But since the Danny, many are coming and saying that she did not become tame. So the many nashim and that one aid, they cancel each other out. And the Ramam says, whenever it's equal on each side, halachically equal, not numbers equal, they cancel each other out. And square one is she's a slave. It's like the big thing is you'd sign. But then you're, you're, we're, I know we're by Yudches, just to appreciate the Chiddush of Yudzayim. Okay, now, Halacha Yudtes. But if from both sides, we had this before, sometimes that Yudafka go up to numbers. In other words, you have w- people that are otherwise Psulim. So women, Chvez Kreven. So if you have two that say Nitmeis and five that say Loi Nitmeis, you understand? We're going to follow the majority. For example, Shtei Nashem says Nitmeis. But three say leinet meis. Then hadez will show But let's flip it. Three say leinet meis. Four sets of it. Four say net meis. Since four is more than three, we're going to say she became tummy. Hadez will ain't a shoisa. And by his, guys, here, it's not just ain't a shoisa. Ain't a shoisa and she loses the ksuba. Which we're going to believe the group that has more numbers. Even though normally by Aiden we don't do that. Again, back to the end of Allah Yudzan, whenever it's 50 50, they cancel each other out, and she goes back to the dinner of a site. Final halacha chaf. Kol saita, she'ena shaisa, because of Eid Tuma. Remember this rule. Harezu asura al baila lo oilam. She can't drink. So it's not like he'll divorce her and remarry her. They may never be together. And when she gets divorced, she will not get her ksuba. Because Sharei Nesra Bikinui Vestira was speaking about Eide Tumanot. We know that she became a Saita. But Hashasiya, the way you look at it is, is that the drinking is a matter. Prior to the drinking, she's already a Surah Labayla. The drinking, whenever the trade allows for that to happen, Katira, right, Nimna'a. In other words, the, 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 the drinking is a matter. Once there is a day tuma, we are not allowed to do drinking. So that hetar was removed. And whenever she can't drink, once you become a soita, the halacha is, and she loses her ksub. Okay. Now, Gavaldika Pedic base. After we got the basics of what happens, so we, and most of you got familiar with the words so of the skinoi, we have tuma, we have tuma, we have me soita, me hamarim. Now, the woman have to drink once she becomes a site. So not only could she always opt out, the consequence will be she'll lose her ksuba. Not only could the husband say, you know what, don't drink. I don't want you to drink anymore. There'll be consequences. Not only that, that Amam is going to enumerate the 15, the one, five scenarios where she's not allowed to drink. Okay, so let's go. Pedic base. Pedic base has 16 halachas beginning with halacha. Isha, Shekin olabailo, and venistero, as we learned, kinui means it was in front of two Aden. 
Nistra means that Amman Paskins, again, that it was in front of 2 8. Nistra is not that we know they committed adultery. We only saw them being secluded. First of all, the fact that the Torah allows for her to drink doesn't mean that she's obligated to drink. In Koifen Oisa Lishtois, drinking will only happen if both he, husband, and she, the wife, want to go through with it. Ella im for Amra Hain, look at this. If im Ratzasam, for Amra Hain, it may see, let's go many scenarios. She can come and say, um, either I don't want to drink, you know why? Because I committed adultery. She can be moided for that. Now, we talked about before that if a woman tells her husband, guys, if you remember, I committed adultery, normally, normally, we don't believe her. Basin certainly doesn't believe her. It's called Shema Nosna in Neuba Acher. Not over here. Because over here, the Raglayim Ladover, there was Kinoyim Stira. And he has to divorce her and she loses Aksuba. And the Nesral Baila Loilam. And the Eina Shois. Similarly, the Chenim Amra, if she says, she doesn't always have to say, I'm not drinking because I am admitting to guilt. She can come and say, listen, guys, I did not commit adultery. But you know what? I do not want to drink. Eina Shois. Well, I, you know, she can say, I'm living with a guy that's jealous. He's looking after me like that. I can't live with him. I'm not drinking. I want out. Now, she's going to lose her ksuba. But the point is, you can't force her to drink. In she loses her ksuba because she became a psyche, guys. Now, also, after he warns her, after she becomes a stira, that means she becomes a psyche. I've been my home. We learned there's Mechila prior to Stephen. Now it's too late. Oi, now here, another scenario. We're going to start introducing cases. Sheba Allah, Baila, Achar Shanistra. If the husband had a relation with her after she became a Saita, which is a sin in itself, it doesn't allow the waters to work. We'll learn even more soon. We're going to learn that if this man, not related to her, also is not following halacha when it comes to the laws of, of physical relations, that means he had a relation with a married woman, it also won't work. Can you imagine that? The example we're giving is he had a relation with his wife herself, who he's not allowed to live with after she became a soita, like we learned at the end of the previous Patek. Now, once she becomes a soita, they are a suda. Drinking of the waters is a, is a matir. Once he sinned with her, it's not, we know it's not going to work. Now here, it's, since he is the one that's saying, don't drink, he'll have to divorce her, but here he will have to give her a ksuba. But he tells us, ksuba sara yoytza, and vihi asura olav lo'el. So first of all, halacha alaf is, there's no chiyav to drink. She can opt out, he can opt out. Halacha beis, actually now, there are women, like we mentioned, 15 women, ve'elum anashem, she'enam ru'uyo yislishtais. That even if he and she want to go through with the procedure, based on those the halachas, and they say they may not. They, the women want to drink. But if the trader does not allow her to drink, since she is considered guilty for becoming the soita, she'll lose her ksuba. From when they come, and from that moment, Again, because if there's no matter of the Mesoita, then she becomes a Surah Lo'ilam on the husband. Here are the 50. If the whole thing happened while she was still in a state of Arusa, number two, if she's a Shemedes Yavim, number three, a Kitana, who's a wife of an adult, a Gedoyla, who's the wife of a minor, Right? For, uh, what would that be? That would be that uh, he was meyabim her, not a shemedes yavim. Right? And what did we learn? That if he does the act of bia, there's a rabbinic marriage. The aishas and dragonus, the aishas has suma. We're speaking now, the man has these blemishes. A wife of a man who limps, a wife of a man who cannot speak, a wife of a man who cannot hear, death. Right? Um, a wife of a man that has a hand severed. And now all of these blemishes, also if she's the only one that has it, if she's Chigeres, if she's Elamis, if she's Sumo, if she's Kruz Achkav, if she cannot hear, Kol Achas Me'elu, Eino, Ru'uyo, Lishtois, but guys, Yeish Kinui, get it, Yeish Tira, he's speaking about, she can become a Saita. And, 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 if, and if she becomes a Saita, both Dinim, Asura Labala, Teitzik, 
but like tsuba, but she can't drink. Now the Rambam, sometimes it takes a long time in one halacha, it's like a big halacha is going to give you the pas, the psukim in Parshas Masai, from which we exclude all of the 15. It's relatively a, a, to all of the 15 dinam, it goes very quick. Halacha gimel. Uminayin that all of the above, enom ru'oyim lishtois, because since it says, asher tiste isha tachas isham, the word tiste here means when a, when a woman deviates, right, um, while married to her husband, isha tachas isha, so that's an interesting expression, the second isha goes to her ma- male husband, so tachas isha means when she's married, Prat, that excludes a woman who's not fully married. She's only in Arusa. She's only a Shemeres Yavu. They are not Mamish Tachas Isha. Now, when the first Isha, which is the wife, right? A woman married to her husband. Isha means an adult. Prat Liktano. Isha, right? That's the Tachas Isha, the second word Isha. Prat Laishas Katan. Excluding an Ashes Androidinus. Sheeno Ish. This word Isha means a man. Venelam Ene Isha. Right, he doesn't know. That means pratla eshes hasuma. He has no einim. He doesn't doesn't can't see. Einayim. The hem and akoyin esa isha standing her up means she cannot be a limp. Then also al kapeha pratla misha im lachaf. Oi, it was very twisted, so you cannot put the mincha on her hands or it's dried out. She any look she any yechayla likachva. And the afilo kapa achas. No, it's I one hand. You, the mincha can be held in one hand. No, no, the Torah says kapeha. Both hands have to be here. And when it says, isha, she has to be able to speak. And Va'amar El Ho'isha, the coin tells the woman, means Prat that excludes a woman that cannot hear. Now, one second, all of these physical blemishes are pointed towards the woman. Why are we applying it also if it's only the man's? Because since going back to Isha Tachas Isha, says how weird Lasha, unusual to, 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 combi- to compare them together. And Sholem Kamoisa, Halamadata, Shakol Dava, Shama Akav Oisa, Milish Tois, Makav is Bailam, Mila Hashkoisa, the whole Hama Akav is Abal, Mila Hashkoisa, Mum Kamoya Makav Oisa, Milish Tois, and that covers all of the 15 exclusions. Alachadal, Ktana, Sheisia Avia, which means it's a biblical marriage. Im Zinsa Beretsoina says that Ambam Nesra Al Baila and Lahoir. Just to make it clear, I know I mentioned that we mentioned this yesterday, so I have to correct myself. I mentioned the Chazal that say that Pitui Ketana Oinasu. The Rambam never saw those words. The Magad Mishnah here extra, extrapolates from the Rambam. The Rambam Dafka doesn't pass in that way. You know, one more sp- because if you're going to say that even even if a, an act is done willingly or willingfully, since she's a Ketana, it's called an act of Ma'anes. So there's no shayach of zinsa beretzayna. The Rambam rejects this concept of pita ketana oynas. I want to go back to what we learned yesterday. So different when the Rambam says that both by the din of um, mefata and by ma'anes, the, the word nara only excludes a boigeres, but it includes the ketana. Moiti shemra is only a nara. Not boigeres, not ketana, nara with a hay. But pitoi and oynas is also a ketana. So I said wrongfully yesterday, ah, it's not Shaykh Peter by Khan. It is. It is. Let us say here. If she commits adultery, that's not by law. And that would not be the case, by the way, if she's raped, like any HSC soul, even an adult. Okay. Lefikach, therefore, Mekanala. But Loyla Hashkoisa, since she is a minor, she won't be told to drink the waters. And guys, the, all of the other, like that I that just explains, and the others that argue with the because they hold that Pitoi Ketana Oits. But if it's only a rabbinic marriage, which means she has the powers for refusal to retroactively nullify the marriage, you can't even warn her. Because she ain't to the point, which is very important. In other words, anytime, just in our world, anytime a woman is able to do me, and you know what it means? It means it's not a biblical marriage. Now, just to make something clear, if an Asia's coin even is, God forbid, raped, she's a Sura al but not if this katana would be married rabbinically to a client, she would not be a surah al because she's not really married. If, 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 a, if, a, if a Bas Yisrael or Panuya gets raped, if the man is someone with whom she's allahically allowed to marry, she does not become a zoina. She, she's allowed to marry a client. Okay. Halacha hey. Kila la 
So a guy did warn his. Uh, we learned. Case. We learned by a a, a Mian case before that if she accepts kedushin from another man, that that accepted kedushin is the Mian. Kavali. So it seems like over here you say. It doesn't I, I'm say it, gonna, but it seems like if she goes and has relations with someone else, heh, that isn't that me? Very good, very good, Danny. That's exactly his point. That's another way of wording it. Very good. You're asking really a question. It's even more than that. I would say that accepting Kedushin is she wants to marry someone else. That's where the Raman Paskins, it's refusal to the first husband. Here, she doesn't want to marry the other guy. She just wants to do Zunus with the other guy. A little bit different. Okay. Halakhe. Kina Laru Sose. Which we said she's one of the 15 women that are excluded. But and now the kili was while they were only engaged. But the stira happened after they got married. Kavaldi. She does become a saita, meaning that she can drink the waters. Next case. She's married already. The warning was when she was married. But they didn't even have a relation yet. Prior to which first you had this um, Stiro, we don't know what happened. Mamish, oh, they go out of the chupa and he tells her, listen, honey, not with that, that guy, don't be alone. She was already alone before they came home together. That's the way so when she becomes a slave, if the trader says, don't drink, because since it says in Parshas Nasser, the coin is warning her by the, by the oath, the eaten ish, bach, es, shechaftai, that another man had relations, right, other than your husband. That implies you already were with your husband, and now there was another man. But it excludes this case. As long as they are allowed to be married. Now, Adam um, Hamutaris Okay, uh, just to say, when we spoke up before that a Kru Shavcha, right, these people that are blemishes cannot marry into the Kohol, they can marry a Mamzeres, for example. There are marriages that will be allowed. Whenever they are allowed to marry, they are not part of the 15. And if they become a Saita, yes, they have the option to drink. Halacha Zayin. Now, the Ramam says, Muberes umeniko, mekanala umashko oiseko shehi. Even though, Sometimes, if there's no nursemaid, if you're going to end up, if the mother will die, what's going to be with the child? You don't say, no, let's first allow the mother to wean the child off. Or if the, or the woman is pregnant, she might die. You don't say, wait. That's Shita Sarama. And prior to her drinking, the husband passes away. But she doesn't get the ksuba from the state. Halacha ches. Guys, halacha ches is huge. Kol ish shaba bia asura miyamov from when he became bar mitzvah. If he ever even once had a prohibited sexual act, ein hamayim hamaaranim baitkin es ishtoy. Now understand the challenge that this poses, as the Ramam is going to explain the Chazal, we learn the way the Ramam understands it, that even Bisman Bayis, at the end, the Chachamim says, no more, no more drinking, because there was a lot of Zunus. People say, so what? If there's a lot of Zunus, resolve it through the drinking. No! A lot of Zunus means that their husbands were not, were not living kosher lifestyles. And it won't work anymore. And that's Moitzi Laz. She won't even know. She's going to know she committed adultery. And the waters didn't work. Understand? So if the husband is not the, the, the only works if the husband was was always behaving properly, afilu ba. Now, what does behaving properly means? Even if he if he had a relation with his collar, right? It's not that he he was unfaithful with another woman. Elama, he had a relation after the kedushin, prior to the nesuyin, the base chama, but wasn't the shame chupa. And as we learned in the beginning, that's also medivrei soifrim, right? Pedicured hilchas issues. That means he only violated the rabbinic. That's called a violation. Wow. Chazal tell us that means that only when the man is minuka from this type of sin, then therefore look at the consequences. So we spoke now about women, the 15 women that are excluded. Now let's add a bunch of cases. If his wife is someone 
to whom he was not allowed to marry, Kadush, you know, Stoifes, because she wasn't an Erva. But let's say there's an Esur Lav, or even only a Chiyu Yasei, or even if it's Asur only Midr Abanan, because she was a Shniya, and Vikini Lav and yes, she becomes a Soita, but no, she may not drink, it's not going to work. And a choice. And it takes again, Bulaik Suba. It takes Bulaik Suba because, you know, she shouldn't have gotten to that point. And with here, a Surah Olav, Af, we shouldn't, guys, they're prohibited anyways. Now, what happens, there are, there are certain uh, marriages that are uh, prohibited, not because they are inherently prohibited, but because, like we learned, that if a man is going to marry during Tashmish, he might be rough with her. He doesn't care. God forbid, then he might hurt the child, or worse, kill the child, or, like we mentioned, by pregnancy. Now, these are people that can get married. They just have to wait. He didn't wait. That's not called an inherent even though we're saying even Isuri that Abanon will this uh, empower the waters, not these. Hadei zu shoisa she'en kan aveda, guys. It's an aveda. It means it's not an inherently Isuri of beer of marriage. Halacha yud. Bishen lo isha haru elele lo leibon. And what about a man, a man who doesn't have a woman who's able to have children, a man who did not yet fulfill the mitzvah, guys? We all learned this above, and he married an akado who the Torah says he should divorce or then marry another wife. Or he married a Zakena or an island is here. Also, we consider this a prohibited marriage, a Lashaisem. And the, but she becomes a Saita, the Aiden Nagdalas Ksubasa, right? Anytime there's a marriage where Hazal say that Ainam Ruya is Lakaiman. Wow. Even though it's only because of pity of Arivia, appreciate that. Means if he would have had already a son and a daughter, they would have allowed him to be married. But that's a prohibited marriage. He's not knocking the oven. Then yes, that is a mashko isa. Even though she's a zikena, she's an akara, she's an islandess, she's in the royal Because she'll remember about Torah. This is the Ramam. We, we learn chitas. Thank God, we should learn chitas. The Ramam doesn't doesn't agree with Rashi. So when we have at the end of the parsha soita that if the woman did not commit adultery with that man, says venizra zera, that means she gets not only is she not going to die, but she's going to be blessed. Ah, how far is the blessing? So many Mifarshiyat to understand that even if she's a woman who's unable to have children altogether, she will be able to have children. The Ramam doesn't learn it that way. The Ramam learns that when it says Venizra Zera, that's only for a woman who's an Uya Leilate. Then we say she'll have, you know, if she was Yeledas Bekoishi, she'll be Yeledas Easy. But if a woman is not able to have children, but it doesn't matter if she'll be the islandess, it doesn't matter that this won't be able to be fulfilled by her. She, Taka, will not miraculously have children. I want you to know, if you remember Mesech the Brachas and the Lamids, Chana, Chana had a tefillah. What did Chana tell God? Not like the Ramam. Chana told the Eberstead, listen, you have to give me a child. And you know what? She tells him, it's not right that a sinner gets children. I'll be a sinner. She tells the Eberstead, I'll become a Satan. I won't do an act of Tumah. Then I'll drink the waters and then I'll get the Veniz Rosetta. The Ramam doesn't learn that, that you know, it, was a, it was an emotional prayer. The Ramam says, But not a woman who's an Akara. So, so says the Ramam, yeah, not a woman that's an Akara, the Ramam will not miraculously have children, but it doesn't mean she's excluded from the parish. This passing doesn't go for her. Right? If a husband, guys, has another wife, right, capable. It doesn't even mean that he, of having children and umesu. But don't, so again, he's married. The wife here is an island. He's married to another woman. Umesu ben kine listira. So now, will it work? Will it not work? So here, the determining point is the kinui time, not the stira time. That means she could, she has to drink. Since she was uh, to drink, because when he gave the kinoi, he was then married to another woman. So Chazal were not telling him, divorce your current akara. Then yes, umashka isa. Similarly, the opposite, he only was married to her. And you know what happens? He gives kinoi, and, and between the kinoi and the stira, he was married before to another woman. Turns out she was pregnant and she gave birth. And she gave birth to a boy, a, a son and a daughter. And now he already fulfilled the son and a daughter. 
So you would argue he's now allowed to stay with her. Since during the Kinoi, he did not yet have a son and a daughter, it's the, the time of the Kinoi determines both ways. It's consistent. And as we learned, either in Allah Aleph or in Allah Chabes, Bein Shalei Ratzah Bay Lalash Kais, Bein Shalei Ratzah So He Lishtais, Bein Shabala E Tuma, or she was Moida, or she was from Allah Chabes or Shabai Sam Elo and Ashram Shainer and Lishtais. Oh, like we mentioned that the husband is in jail and Pedic Aleph, we learned, right? Allah Chayud, and uh, we said over there that you don't drink the waters. Ashkin Allah Bays, then point is, Hoyl, the Nesra Al Baila Mikal Makaim, the rule is, Harei, he asura al zem shenis yachta imay la oilam la oilam. Just like she can be with her husband. Now we're beginning to learn. Shem shasur la bal, shasur la boil. She's not allowed to be with that man. La oilam means even after the husband will divorce her, even after this current husband will die. Kederach shehi asura al bailam. Even after death or or, or 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 divorce of this current husband, you know she halachically will never be allowed to be have yichud with that man. The im Furthermore, even if she marries that person about whom she was warned not to be with, beget. Even if there are memenu banim. Now, guys, sometimes having children will determine, it. because whenever you force a man to divorce his wife after children, people know that the marriage was not kosher. So it's might see laws on the bottom. It doesn't always mean that the children are mamzadim. The children are not mamzadim, but we try to avoid that. Sometimes we say, since they have children, not to be might see laws. People are going to think that it was worse. They're going to think they're mamzadim. Here we don't care. Might see. That's the statement. And remember that, guys, where we just many people learn Saita by Yasa Mabavich, Min Hagenu, that Venitma Venitma. Venitma Venitma, twice. It means that Shem Shasura Labao, Kach Shasura Labao. But if there wasn't a kinoi, no kinoi. But ubo allow Adam shenistanam zeh. You know, Stam, it's not nice. People are coming. Adam are coming. That this woman, this married woman, is a secluded with a guy, and they saw something mechuar. We already had this before. For example, that two Adam came right after they were together, and they found chagedas chagoyda. They found, you know, they they, they 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 were putting on their pants. They were doing something which it seems like that prior to them walking in there, they were on guard. So the din is, as we learned in, 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 in before, that im a bailam the davar mochayirzeh, as sometimes he has to, or certainly should. She also will not be allowed to ever be, get married to that man, to the person with whom there is a suspicion. But in the latter case, not soita davar mochuar if. She violated and she married him and she had children. Now, Loitate say, guys, here will be the case. Here will be the case after marry Tate prior to having children. Guys, goes that if she did not have children yet with this new husband, right, with whom there was Adam of Adav and Machur, right? Yes, Tate say, we force a divorce. When do we say that? When there was a, people were gossiping about her, and on that guy, so you have to know dinam of rumors for a day and a half. And they were saying, and the rumor was not stopped. Now, sometimes rumors stop because there was a threat. Not that it stopped because there was a threat. In Tzatsheni, sometimes rumors come because someone has an enemy. The Noidi Yehuda already passed in that nowadays, from his days, the only people for whom you say they have no enemies are children. So Adarabi, you know, when it comes to this whole parsha of people are accusing others of molesting, there's a lot of halachic namonus you give to a child because he has no vendetta against the adult. Masha Inka, you have to know if there are adults are saying it halachically, maybe there's a there's an enemy. So but if the rumor was not that widespread. Right and when and again for a day and a half, or the the rumor began and the rumor was stopped. But we in, we investigate and it wasn't that someone threatened people. Does it stop? Im even though they didn't yet have children like they say. And furthermore, now guys, once they get married, even if now one eight come 
and says that they committed adultery. When did the Torah believe one eight? Only after Kinoi and Stira. If there wasn't a Kinoi and Stira, even if there are Edom of a Dover Mechur, Ein Dover Shubha Ever Papas Mishnai. We don't believe one eight. Unless, like we said, if a husband is married and he believes the eight, he should divorce it. That's something else. But here again, you're not going to force him to get divorced. Like eight say, Halacha Tezvav. Misho Itzia Baila, the Edei Dover Mechur. Again, there was Edom that she they chapter him and her. Almost in the act. And when they say Slaachet, she married someone else and she got divorced. Now we say, She's still prohibited. But if she marries that guy, even below Banam also like Taitse. There's certain nuances. Interestingly, that if there's another marriage in between, it um, doesn't look as bad. Okay, guys, all of this, don't forget, all of this is because we don't have a day tumor. But the, all of this is just coming from the new rule, the last rule that we learned in the Spedek, the concept, Keshem Sha'asura Lebao, Kach Asura Leboi. Final halacha tazayim, kol isha shubo shnei edem, vihoida shezimsa imze, kishahoisa tachas bailo harishoin. So guys, imagine there's a marriage. I don't even care why the marriage got dissolved. After the marriage got dissolved, to Adam come and say, while well, she was married to the first husband, we know that she committed adultery with Reuven. Harezu Teitzemize. All right? Uh, no, she married. The second marriage was with Reuven. And she's already married him. Now to Adam came, you know, Hebra, while she was married to Chaim, I, we, saw, we saw her with Reuven. I mean, she has to get divorced from him. Because there's Adam that she was Matama. And furthermore, whenever they have to get divorced, Teitzay Beloi Ksuba. All of this is because of the rule. She's Asura Labal, Asura Labal, even though we only discovered now that she committed adultery with him. Chabra Pede Gimel, today's final Pede, has 24 halachas, and it's about the Seder of the drinking of the waters. It's called the Hashko, Seder Hashkos, Mei Soita. Halacha Aleph. Keitzad Seder Hashkos Soita. Okay, when all of the above, Pede Kalaf, Pede Gbeis, um steps, happened and both he and she meaning the husband and the wife want to clarify she's shouting i did not have tumor he's saying i can't be i'm not allowed to be with you you have to prove it and the clinic gives a way of proving it he begins him coming to the base and afterwards and the elu and he brings the witnesses and by the way, guys, it can be the same two witnesses. But I'm never spoke about this. Heinein Eide Kinoi. It could be, but he's bringing two and two, or the same two for both. Hadei and the Hadei Yimedes, and she's shouting. She's not denying the fact. Not that we need her. There's two Adam. She's saying, I did not commit adultery. There was no tumor. To Hoira. And Ba'anira Itzilash Kaisa, you can go examine me. Live the Kadabar. Now, since, as we'll see, the procedure can only happen in the great Sanhedrin. So they're going to accompany the husband and the wife to Yerushalayim with two, these two Talmud uh, HaChachamim. As we learned in Pedic Beis, if he's going to have a relation with her or with any other woman. But it, it, the most common is it's his wife then it's going to disempower the waters to work. And that's a terrible thing. First of all, you erase God Almighty's holy name. Second of all, it's Moitzi Laz. So the two Talmud HaChachamim are to tell them that halachically you cannot be with her. Shaharei Nesra Olav HaChetishter. Umeshal Chanoi Sil Yerushalayim. Why don't you do it in your local base? Then she'ein mashkines asoy to Elo B'Beis and Agadol Shul Shifam Muzkein of Amikish. Halacha Beis. Higiyo Yerushalayim. Beis Din HaGadol Meshivin Oysa B'Meihem. First thing they do to her is but they do that not in front of her husband. In order to take away her desire to drink. Now, what do they want to do? First of all, some women don't think these waters are going to kill them because it's with Sacheni, many women at this point feel they cannot own up to the fact they committed adultery. So you have to tell a person that even greater people than you, you know, the Gemara says, Eina Petrupus Larois. And great people fell, you know, the end of Masechus Kedushan, the Gemara has very powerful stories. 
about Tanoim or Amaroim. They forget that they had a, had a desire. They were Oymid ben Asoyan. Remember that story? They were kidnapped women. And I, I, I was a Tanor and Amaroim. He put a ladder to go to them. And going up the ladder, he shouted, fire, fire. People came to put out the fire. They saw him going up to women. And he says, my Yates heart is burning. No, why did the Torah, first of all, how great is this man? He got ashamed, but he, and he said, I would rather be ashamed from you than to be ashamed in front of God. Point is, is that they tell her, if you committed adultery, we will understand. All, all for her to be murder, for you not to raise God's name and for her not to die. Okay. In other words, you know, they're giving her almost excuses. They're giving her a way out. Wine, that's what wine can do. Or you know, sometimes you are around people that are, you know, are very, uh, you know, it's, it's pushed. You know, it can happen. Immature people. It's not even your fault. Again, they're not whitewashing it. They're just trying to make her comfortable to admit. And, and, and therefore, oh, and they also tell her, Biti, my daughter, how do they, first of all, they're just, just calling her Biti as already, they're Makadav. In other words, it's, they're telling her, there are many great people before you that fell in the sin. So don't think that it's, you're, you're ashamed to own up to it because no one ever did it. Many great people fell over here. And the Nashim Gedolim, the Yikarim, Takav Yitzhak, and the Nishalu. And then they tell her the story of Yehuda and Tamar Kalosi, which, which, which here at Taka, they had a relation. And part of the message is that you can be a Yehuda, a tzaddik, and the, and the message isn't only that you see Yehuda can fail, but Yehuda was mighty, to be inspired by that. And then when they tell the story in Vayishlach of Reuven, the Pelegesh Aviv, even though that we know, like the Gemara says, when it says Vayishka of Reuven and Pelegesh, it, it doesn't mean that he had a relation with her. He didn't have a relation with Bilam. Right, it means like the Rashi says, he moved the bed out of the tent of Bila to the tent of Leah. But they dafka don't read it that way. They're trying to show him that it happens, people fail in this area. Or, or the terrible story of Amnon and, Amnon and Tamar. He mamish raped his, his half sister, right? Halachically, they could have gotten married. But Hulay, all of that is and it can work. And if she says, hey, you know what? Okay, I own it, Nit Macy. Or even if she knows she can even, she doesn't even have to say that. She can say, you know what? I'm not going to drink. I, I, I never committed a sin, but for my husband to accuse me, I don't want to be with him. Say that. Fine. You're going to like Suba. Because like we learned in Patek Bays, you don't force her to drink. She can say, I want out. And for her, it's not. Halachi Gimel, but on the bedi board of Shita Hoida, then if you're in Oisel, the Shana Mizrahi Shalazar. These are the steps. And why is that? Shukin Eged Kodesh HaKach. You can never see into it. And they begin to take her to here, to there, right? They make a walk around to get her tired. For her spirits to fall, maybe she'll admit. Well, sometimes you, that's, that's the way of the world. People are action, just keeping them go here, go there. And again, they have an easy way out, either by being honest or by saying, you know what, I don't, I don't want this. But if she's standing, they bring her back towards the opposite, the outer part of the eastern gate. And finally, they tell her to wait here. If she normally wears white clothing, they put on black clothes. If a black clothing make her look attractive, then they put her on. Black, the reason why Hasidim wear black, black is tackled clothing that are the most humblest of clothing. It, 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 it dresses you down. If Punkta worked the opposite, then they put on any other color clothing. They remove any jewelry. And they gather kibbutz gadol shalmashim. They want for this to happen in public. Now, you don't invite men, even though men can come and gather, but they dafka gathered a lot of women. That, uh, so all that the woman should be taught that they should not uh, follow the act of, of, of the lewdness of this woman. Now, again, we're not saying that she committed adultery. We don't know that. But the fact that she had stida, that alone is not the proper. And the whole itch, she achwits, Women are high of men are optional. Here, Medus Minayam, and she's made to stand amongst them. Without the normal outer begotten that people would wear in the public, she only stands with her, you know, with her basic clothing and with the kupach. 
know, the tichol, the simple hair covering, sha'al reisha, the way a woman normally walks around in her home. Allah chavav. The eim anichim sham, you don't allow to be there. No one she's familiar with. Not even her avadel, not her shifchaisel, because since she's makeres oisan, so vadata mis yashavas ben. She'll be fortified. The goal is not to break her spirits, to break her spirits. God forbid. The goal is to get her, at least to say, I'm not drinking. We're trying to prevent from this happening. But if she's still there, no, I'm drinking. The, 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 the adjuring, as it says explicitly in Parshas Nasai, it's not kocha, right? It doesn't have to be dafka in the words like by, we learned by Yibum. No. Um, the, it, it, she has to understand. She has to know. How did she get her? They go through how we got to this point. And that you should know that or then 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 you'll be clean. Actually, you'll be blessed. But these are words in the passing. But which means then Yitan Hashem Oyser Lo Olo Ve Lo Shvu Matech Amech, and what will happen? We say Hashem Es Yedechich Nefelas, her thighs will rupture, the Es Bit Natsava, and her belly will bloat. There will swell. Now, what is mentioned first? The thighs and the belly. But remember, because she was the sin began with the with the thigh. Even though Bepoyel Mamish, what happens first is that the belly swells and then the thighs rupture because when the water is going through her body. It first goes into the stomach and then it goes down in the body. Here, the opposite say the last place button, the line of yarek. And she says, Amin the Amin. Again, all of this happens in the language that she knows. And they let her know, Shahabetin til katchila. And then they want to make that clear. Even though in the beginning of the Shua, they told her the opposite that Yerechech may fell us first. Because that caused the sin, but the poil, that's the, the latter is what's going to happen. If she committed adultery with that man, maybe Megillah Shalot Tor, they use it, they have to take a parchment that's kosher for it to be used for a stump. And like for a safer toilet. And recursive, Allah, Boloshana Kodesh. And not only Dafka Loshana Kodesh, but here there's something unique that we learned in Ochaz Stam. The ink has to have come kantoim or other ingredients that make that ink durable. Here, since we want for it to be erased in the waters, dafke but yoshe eboy kan kanto. Another thing, it has to be written lishma shalisha, just the way a get is written. And koisim kol advarim shishbi oisim bahem. Everything that's that that she was said, other than the words amen v'amen, which she says, is going to be written. But here, balasha koidish ois ba ois, like as every letter milu milu koisim as. Hashem, and since in those psukim you have Hashem's name written a few times, you write it down. The only thing that you don't write is her saying Amen Biyom. Allah chetes. Now, after you have the Megillah written, you take now a earthenware vessel, which was never used before. Not only that, but it has to look new, which means sometimes you can have a klicheres that was never used, but, but from the passage of times, it looks old. You can't have that. Which can happen like us, but time goes on. You know, you look, uh, you look, you look your age. But But if it's, it was never used, it looks old, but you put it back into a kiln, maybe even if it was used, but you put it back into the kiln, then it's considered a new thing. Now, so you have the clay chodesh. Now you put inside of it how much water from the kioir. How do you measure the chatzil loig? In the holy temple, there was a measuring cup with that amount. Which means these waters are measured in a clay shot as there's kedusha in them. And they go into the heichel. You go mamish into the heichel. When you walked into the sanctuary, to the right on the ground, there was a tile, 18 by 18, 19 by 19 inches, which was mamish to the right when you entered. That tile had a ring on it which allowed you to lift up the tile. Right under that tile was the earth of Harabais. And indeed, and you take offer mikarka ha mishkan 
It's amazing how the Rambam, like the Gemara, like the Mishnah, uses the words of the Chumash, even though we're speaking about the Holy Temple. It doesn't matter. When you take the earth, and you put some earth on top of the water, you should see the earth floating on the water. It's not about the quantity, but it has to be enough. Enough that when you look at the waters, you can see earth floating on top. On top of that, you put in this water something bitter like lana, like wormwood, because the trader calls it bitter waters. Now, it, of course, it's also bitter waters because it's going to take her life if she committed adultery. That's bitter, taking a life. But the word taiching, mayamara means you have to make the waters taste bitter. Okay, the trader says mayamara. Now you got the water, you got the cup, you got the whole thing. You dissolve, you put the megillah in it, you put the parchment in it, that the yoy had no kantantoim, and all of the letters will be dissolved in it. And the yimchak yafa yafa, ah, chelo, you show the megillah, reisha manikah. Halacha yudal. Achakach koin acher bole, another coin comes, like a designated coin. He was mekehani azor. And the oiches bivigodel kenegad ponel. And he takes hold of the clothing that's on her front, the kareya, and he tears it until he reveals her heart. And he takes off the kupa, he takes off the tichala. Megalas are, and if her hair is braided, he undoes, he un, he unbraids. But so I said, machlefa and all of that is kadei lenavla. And then, since he rips her front garments, megala liba, but the whole thing can the whole thing can fall down. They bring a, a rope. It's called the Chavala Mitzri because in Egypt they would use these uh, palm bass ropes. But also, since it's called Chavala Mitzri, it's Maisa Mitzrayim. They were shot of the Zima. Not that we know that she committed adultery, but again, just having Stira itself is not kosher. If they don't have that type of rope, then bring any type of rope. Point is, is that even though that for a moment it was Megala asleep, but now the Kreshra Nidadeha, Habigodim. Now, so guys, we you have to go every step. Now, afterwards, before she's drinking, they bring a, the amount of a isonim of kemach so'idim. This is the only time that a carbon yachid of mincha comes from barley. And, and who pays for it? The husband. And it's put in a kfifa mitzvah. The hachevel and kfifa are bought from the shiara halishka. And you make her hold it again because up until you take the mincha out of this basket and you put it in a clay shadis, you're magnishit. And here is where the two negative commandments that we learned in the intro comes in. Normally, on every carbon mincha, you have to add uh, shemin, even though there's five types of minachis, but there's shemin, not here. There's no levaina, the levaina. And furthermore, the im nasan, and if you added loika la shemen with niyatzma, the the coin gets twice malchus. Vala levaina with niyatzma, two separate lavim. Shneimer as it says, la yitzak la shemen, but it's not levaina. Kolach yudalot. Ubechol hazman shepereya roisha the nasan who yisodan al yado during this time from when her garments are torn, you hamayim bechli beyat koyin. And we want for her to see the water. She should be looking at the water. As it says, Now, Does she make a bracha? I don't know, huh? Because she's not drinking the water for her thirst. On a bracha. Maybe one second there, Shuki, you're shaking your head. Maybe uh, since this water, she's saying she didn't commit adultery. These waters are going to give her blessings. Even like the Rambam, not miracles, but it's going to, uh, maybe maybe she makes something, I don't know. After she drinks, right, they take that keli and they put it on her hand because you have to do Hanafa. Under her hand, if you remember in Saita, right, it, 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 like she, she's holding it on the top like this, and the coin puts the, his hands on the bottom. Okay, doesn't physically touch her. Umanifa, and they do Hanafa, waving, waving. They used to wave these karbanis the way we wave a lulu, the way Lubavitch waves a lulu, dafka that way. So there was a waving. Umanifa ba Mizrah, Kishar kolat nufais. Maybe it's called Maylo, maybe Maylo. 
after the Hanachom, after the waving, we're going to learn all about this. When we learn Kachem here in the Rambam, Megish Hamincha Hagasha, which means you take the Mincha and you have a touch, it's touched. Like all Menach is Yachid. That's a pre step prior to the Kemitz. Then you do Kemitz. Guys, we'll explain this when we learn the Karbonis. Then we'll mark the Rakhoimits. And then, like all other uh, non koyin menachais, the shirayim is going to be eaten by the kahanu. Halacha tezayim. Now, let's go, let's focus back on the woman. Here we go. Im Then yoitzav hoyleches lo. Means, sh- sh- that's it, she's got free. At meaning, v'harei mutaris lo bayla. But im to meyahi, if God forbid she committed adultery, then meyat panel morikos, her fa- face will immediately turn chveis morikos. So, it, it, yellow, yellowish, like not, not healthy. And they are now both ways, and her eyes will begin to, to uh, bulge forth. And all her veins will start to surface. And they will right away shout out, Remove her, remove her. Why? Because it's possible she'll become an Ida. And interestingly, we'll learn also, and I'm going to learn the Dirim of Tuma, that paradoxically, guys, do you know that even a Keri? Cannot go on harabayis, machna levia. A nida may not go on harabayis, machna levia. A tamei meis can be a machna levia. Remember that. Right? Moshe Rabbeinu had atzmois Yosef with him in machna levia. Oh, it's not choitzio because she might die. Ezra's notion did not have the kedusha of dazara. We're going to learn all about this in the Rambam. But what we don't want is for it to become a nida. And indeed, they have seen Yosef Ezra's notion. But she needed to be removed from the whole har- harabais, which is called, uh, which is machna levia. She here made this book. And again, if she committed adultery, what begins to happen, like we mentioned, the bitmats of it, but chila, and she will die. Now, halachi yudzain. Ba'oisa hashosh otomus he, another lamaylum edarachateva. When she dies, the man who committed adultery with her will die no matter where he is, exactly the way she's dying. Yomus hanoyev shehishka al yodi b'chol makim shehu. Hamakim, the Ebishta knows where he is, it's going to get him. And the Yeira loy me'oiroi she'edola. All that happens to her will happen to him. Lats voice button and vilanampil yodech. Cholad varam elu. Again, the Ramam is saying something we learned in the previous chapter is Bishaloi Chotabalo. I know if the husband himself, he never had a Bia Asura in his life. Abalambal be'ila shal isur, the moment the husband himself in the area of Biyas Asurais is not a tzaddik. Guys, it doesn't help for him to be a Balchuva. He needs to be a tzaddik. It means he never sinned. As we spoke out before. If the husband, only he knows if he was not a tzaddik in the area. If he went through with this, so then he's the greatest sinner. The man, the husband, not the adulterer with the wife. Because you go to the Number one, because he knows it's not going to work. And he's because his, if she knows the wife knows she committed the adultery. She'll tell other women that she was Mizana and the waters didn't work. And she doesn't know it didn't work because her husband is also guilty. Normally, that's the way it works. If she's a Okay, halacha yutas. Lefikach. Therefore, now that he explains the chazal that ni shirabu hamino often by goli by by sheni that when when the chazal knew that many people were committing adultery, bitlo hasan hedre nesmei hamarim. People learn the gemara. They at first glance they don't understand it. He says if there's many mino afim, they should use the mei soita. No, it wouldn't work. Not that the women were committing adultery; their husbands were committing adultery. And that is indeed the fulfillment of the Pasuk in Rishaya, where it says, even though kis is neno. And the, a God he says, I will not punish your daughter-in-laws even though kis is no afna. Because since their husbands were sitting, it wouldn't work. Halachachav. Soita, another thing. When we say that she died right away. Well, she died, but not right away. Soita, not always right away. Specifically, like the Gemara says, that she supported and encouraged her husband and her sons to go learn Torah and protects her for a while. But she participates in this great mitzvah. means it leaves the punishment hanging. It prolongs her life. 
I think we learned in the Gemara, the longest could be three years. Ella is Now, it doesn't mean that nothing will happen. It should start to get weak, and the weakening will continue. That's the most, depending, according to her schus. And guys, whatever will happen to her will happen to the adultery. It's going to be a prolonged. He may say, but Sivian Betten, Ubenafila say bottom. Allah Chafal. Soita Shashas me Amarim, Beloy may say me yad. The din is she's Moteras Labaila, even if he's a coin. And the Chidish is, Ah, Fapish is Chilo Chalom Lavio Leo, Chalushana Ibarim. And you can argue, are you kidding? And he's a coin. That's the din. Until when the belly and the thighs start to malfunction, she can be with her husband. It doesn't mean that the husband has to want to be with her because he knows from her illness that she taka is going to die, but that's the din. Now, finally, the positive. means she did not commit adultery. She will right away become stronger. The waters will immediately bring a blessing to her. Just like we learned before, that her face is going to turn based on a, a, a pale yellow immediately, right? The opposite is her face will begin to glow. And if she had other illnesses, God will remove those illnesses. And she will get pregnant from her husband. Again, Rambam, not that she was an Akara, but she, if she's able to have children and she'll give birth, Nafka to a son. And more than that, because she now, she drank the water. She lived. Now comes Aiden that she committed adultery. What did we just say? The water's not working. Doesn't mean she's innocent. Sometimes the waters don't work because the husband to himself he was, was fell in this area. So if Aiden Tuma come, like any other Aiden Tuma, forget about the Kinoians too. Aiden said that her wife committed adultery. Tates it like Suma. Even though the waters didn't do anything negative, because like we said, another, I'm saying another thing. You know, when the, even if the husband never committed a biasura, the husbands only work. The, the waters only work if God knows the future. If no one is going to come and testify what happened to her, so the only way to reveal whether she's innocent or guilty are the waters. Then God is megalosoid of the future, of, of what happened, of the past. But here, if God knows that Adam will come, that in itself doesn't allow the waters to work. Ella mi she'ela Adam shemidian zenusa. Wow, how great is that? Was Hashem knows whether it's going to be discovered in the future, and if there's no Adam coming, that is where Hashem allows the waters to work. Number two, like we just mentioned, shema ba shema baila enam anukam ha'avik ulafikach lebat ko amayim esishtoi. So if two Adim come, we believe the Adim. However, Avalon Bo, Ed Echad, but if only when it comes that she's Tomei, since she drank the waters, she's removed from being a Saita. What, what's the normal rule, guys? Uh, uh, only uh, you need to have two, you need to have two Adim. One Ed comes, you don't believe him. Because once she drank the water, she's out of the parish of the Saita. The plenty gives the manos the aid ain't ba, meaning we believe one aid only if she's still a saita. Final Allah of Dalit, Isha Shazin Saba Ainas. Ah, she was a Shazin Saba Ainas. She was raped, God forbid. Bishkaga means she thought it was her husband. Oi, Shaba Leo Zeh, Shekin Allah, but there was a relation that's called Derech Ibarna. That means it wasn't an Abiyah Kedarka, any other type of non kosher, but Derech Ibarna. Which that's nispasa bechask. When it says vatimal maal beisha, maal means she rebelled against him. That's that's prat l'shegegets. And when it says v'shach ab ish oisa, what what will the mind be boiding for? For a, a bia that could be that's called shichva zera, a bia kedarko. Prat laba laba leal derechivadim gavaldi. Chavik God willing tomorrow. Right, the first Padek will be the final Padek of Soita, and we will be making a Siyam and already starting Sefer Kedusha. Are women invited to the Siyam? Everyone is invited to the Siyam. The Siyam will be, God willing, I think between six and seven by Sruli and Alam Litkowski's home backyard. Which day? Sunday. Sunday for you, Tzemach, because you can't come Shabbos. No, I'm, I'm, I'll be there this week, but on Monday. All right.